Las Vegas, a land of slots, strippers, and 6,000 calorie meals. It's one of those places you've always heard about through movies, pop culture, TV, your parents' wedding video. Well, this weekend, I get to make my own movie. Little did my parents know when they said their vows in this tiny chapel just 29 years ago that their son would be living in a van in Las Vegas. I bet they're so proud. And so the adventure begins. This is the 4th of July living in a van in Las Vegas. It's currently 105 degrees out with an average high this weekend of 115. Let me remind you, I live in a metal box. So we'll see if I'll be able to fall asleep. Oh. Peppermint hippo. Currently just south of the strip, making my way up north. Hopefully go find something to do. I have a feeling I stand out like a tourist because I've already been stopped three times by people trying to ask for money. Let's find an adventure, baby. It's a pretty bold claim. World's largest gift shop. Not really looking to buy anything, but I am looking to get out of this heat. This is definitely not the world's largest gift shop, but it's giving me giving me flashbacks to south of the border. It's like the size of Walmart, just full of junk. Like things you think you want, but then like after you buy it, you'd probably be like, why do I own this? I do have some good deals though. Follow me, there's some something I want to show you. Look at this frog with a little cake. Oh, <laughs> Look at him! I finally cooled off a bit, so I'm gonna keep making my way up the stress. Oh, it's so hot. Oh. I feel so stupid. I've been walking the wrong direction this entire time. So now I'm two miles from where I wanted to go. And it's still 104 out. One thing I've already noticed so far is this city is so dirty. It's disgusting. Congratulations. It's maybe the third wedding I've seen so far today. It's kind of cool. There's the van. Only walked a mile and a half in the wrong direction. It's okay though, getting my physical activity in for the day. I'm overstimulated and undernourished. That walk really took it out of me. Like I finished my two liters of water and I was just dripping sweat, sunscreen in my eyes. And when I actually got to Fremont Street, I was just so overstimulated. And like, I felt like my eyes were like blurry. And it was just not a great experience. So I'm gonna devour this food. There was already a lot of energy, so I can only imagine at night. I've never seen something as crazy as those lights up there, what? Okay, I'm planning on coming back here tonight to see the lights and all the action at night. It's only 3.30 right now though, so I have some time to kill. So I have an idea. That is absurd. Ab freaking absurd. Free pool at Top Golf. Pretty sick. You don't even have to, to pay to play. It's kind of cooled off, so I feel a little stupid, but I'm gonna enjoy it. It's free. That is exactly what I needed. So refreshing. I think I've learned something that Vegas is really a place to be with your friends and get drunk. There's only one of those things I can achieve tonight. I totally caved last night. It's only 1.30 in the morning. I was back of the van, profusely sweating. I'm literally using my bag of hash browns to try to cool myself off. 
kind of helping, but I'm still sweating a lot. I ended up getting a hostel, which also was just not the move because it was like almost $60. I get up to my bunk and I'm again profusely sweating. Like at three I woke up and I was like drenched and I just couldn't breathe and it was stuffy and I wanted to leave, but I knew that it would be hotter in the van. So yeah, van camping in Vegas when it's 100 degrees out is not necessarily the move. 29 years ago, got married right in there. It's now a museum and you can see some like old photos of people who got married in there. It's kind of creepy, they put some mannequins in there. It scared the absolute shit out of me when I walked in the door. <laughs> there was also a couple here in here when I first walked in. They definitely like noticed how freaked out I got. It's just a little awkward. But look, they filled it with mannequins. I don't think I like that. About 40 minutes outside of Vegas, there's some cool free camping out in the mountains. And I mean cool like it looks cool, but it's also like 30 degrees cooler. So I'm planning on going out there for tomorrow and take you guys along. And then I'll be back in the city for the 4th. Originally I was going to take the day off, but my time last night was honestly not that enjoyable. It was kind of, kind of trashy. I'm not going to use a vacation day to hang out in Vegas, but I will be back in the 4th. I'm going to go burn some money gambling and see some fireworks. Let's get to the mountains. That is an intimidating looking animal. I found some sheep. Damn. I look like a bean. Kind of wild, you can see uh, how low the water is. I found a campsite. So, right now, it is. 110 in Vegas. It's only 80 degrees where I am. It's a pretty sweet spot though. There's a lot of little pull-offs. Uh, you can fit some bigger rigs back here. Um, and I actually was in the city, well, I was camping here up until the weekend. And so I know this spot's good. I'm gonna spend tonight and work tomorrow here and then wake up early for the 4th. Go see some fireworks, go see the actual heart of the strip. I'm super, super excited for the 4th. I was apprehensive originally about getting into Vegas. Now that I have a better game plan and I know that I actually do want to try gambling, um, it'll be fun. I'm not putting very much. Don't suggest gambling. It's dumb. I saw a lot of people who were just zombie mode, pressing the button. Either way, I'll be taking you along. Either way, I will not make you suffer through my work day tomorrow. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's gonna be a crazy day today. Weird mood mark is coming out. I can already tell. I'm in a good mood today. Sunscreen. That was pretty fun. It's already pretty hot though. Ooh. It's toasty back here. It says it's 98 in here, it's 95 outside. I honestly thought it'd be hotter in here. Let's get some light coming in here. Ooh. Love it, love it, love it. on that one hand thing. Oh gosh. Ew. 
one of the most convenient parts about the van that I love the most is that after events like this or just really wherever you are, you have your whole house, including your kitchen. Hi. Can you hear me? Hello? Hi. Happy anniversary and I love y'all. What a good breakfast. Just hung out with the parents for a little bit, talked to Meg. Let's make our way into the city and start gambling a little bit. This is the type of Vegas that I was hoping to see, like see some of the more like local side of it because on the strip, it's almost overwhelmingly touristy, which I know is part, part of the appeal of it, but I'm not the biggest fan of like so many things. Not the biggest fan of so many things pouring out for my attention. Well, I'm, ha I'm gonna have fun, I'm gonna have fun. Officially hit triple digit heat. I think I'm gonna throw twenty dollars on the machine and see what happens. The amount of stimulation in these places is absolutely insane. You're going cheapest. My first time gambling. I'm so dumb. Yay! Wait, what does that mean? I gotta win. I'll hold on to that. There we go. Oh, three of a kind? Yo, wait, wait. Oh, it's only three credits. Come on. Down to my last deal. Hold on to that puppy. Womp womp. It's kind of fun, I guess. A dollar for like five minutes of fun. So I just try a different bill or? Yeah, you can try that on different bill. I'll give you another one if you Literally made him take apart the machine for a dollar. I feel like a loser. I think I understand the appeal because I just hit a full house and uh, two pairs, and now I've more than doubled my one dollar investment. I'm just gonna keep burning it. We hit a big baby come through. Whew. I'm just messing with you. Of course, I didn't win anything. Mom and Dad, thank you for the room. I greatly appreciate it. It's gonna completely enhance the whole Vegas experience I'm gonna have. I plan on taking full advantage of this room while I have it, the, the shower, the toilet, literally everything so exciting, so exciting. Because Vegas has really good hotel deals. Like, I'm pretty sure this hotel room costs like less than I'm gonna end up gambling tonight, which is probably the reason that they have such good deals. I'm about two miles from the downtown that you know from all the movies and videos with all the fountains and everything. So my plan is to shower, rest up a little bit, get ready for tonight, and then make that walk down into the town and enjoy the fireworks and probably gamble a little bit more. Thanks again to the Bank of Mom and Dad for sponsoring this hotel room and giving me the opportunity to have the true Vegas experience staying in a nice suite right above a casino so I can gamble all my money away. Vegas just got an upgrade, baby. I'm offering you my golden ticket. Oh, oh my, oh my. I love business stuff. I could watch this all day, but instead, let's go check out the strip. It's a pretty cool sign. I have a three mile walk ahead of me and it's somehow still above 100 degrees. Also, I've triple checked now that I'm going the right direction compared to last time. Learned my lesson the hard way. So some of the people that were at my parents' wedding when they eloped here uh, said that Harris Casino here is the best one to go to for video poker. So I'm gonna go in, and drop $20, see what I can get. Let's blow some money, baby. Okay, that's $20 gone at Harris, but I'm gonna keep making my way down the strip I'm about 0.4 miles away from the Bellagio Fountain. So the goal is to get there before fireworks. That's where I'm trying to go. I made it to the Blasio Fountain. I think this is where I'm gonna I'm gonna try to watch the fireworks from. But it's at least two blocks long. It's massive in person. Like it's one thing to see it in shows and movies, but to see it in person, it almost looks fake that someone could actually build something like this. Like it's almost surreal looking at it. Fourth, 
love you. Bye. I've come on down to the pawn shop today to sell my. Like there were there were like like toddlers that are up at like one a.m. out with like their drunk ass parents partying. I was like, that's ridiculous. Wonder how many of the marriages that happened in here actually still exist. Good job, mom and dad. Congrats on 29. Love you guys. So mom, dad, I've been driving laps in this parking lot. I'm not actually on a main road. Don't worry. It's just for the, the look of it.